Scott, I'm going to begin, uh, Tobias, just by asking what initially attracted you to getting involved in the terror? I think mainly the scripts uh, David Kaganich and Sue Hugh um, have written some really um, some brilliant TV um, scripts for this show. And, and also the story. I mean, obviously it's based on um, a real expedition, um, a rather extraordinary kind of naval mystery of the of the 1800s. Um, so yeah, it felt like those two things woven together was was likely to be a pretty interesting uh, project to be involved in. And did you find out right from the offset that there was Ridley Scott was kind of involved? And when you do find out something like that, it must be such a nice kind of almost seal of approval. You think, well, if he's giving it his blessing, then <laughs> it's, it's got to have something about it. Yeah, if Ridley thinks it's good, then <laughs> yeah. it probably is. Yes, I, I mean, um, it's certainly a nice person to have in your corner. I, I, I mean, I... He was not directly involved with uh, with the actors. Uh, this, I mean, this show is very much um, the creation of uh, of David and Sue. My understanding was that you know he was definitely watching uh, dailies and um, was a, I think a big support for for them. But um, yeah, uh, and, and as I say, uh, you know, a great person to have in your corner. And talking about great people to have around on the set, though, I mean, Jared and Kieran are just such great actors. It must be such a thrill to be working in such close proximity to them across the course of, uh, I imagine, must have been quite a few weeks. Oh, yeah, no, mm. months. I mean, mm. it took us about six, seven months yeah. to, to make so the whole show. So, weeks. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Kieran and I obviously uh, know from old. We were in Rome together, so it was great to see him again. I hadn't worked with Jared before, but it was, um, had a sort of admired his work from afar, so... Yeah, and you know we really needed to sort of pull together. You know these shoots are long, and you have to have a lot of of good humour. And um, but they're great guys to work with. So yeah, it was um, it was uh, it's been a great experience. Because I guess in some ways there are parallels to be drawn between being an actor and going onto a set and shooting, and and the characters kind of going off on a kind of expedition of sorts. I suppose everyone coming together and all being quite in quite close proximity, it must really enforce that camaraderie. Was it quite easy to feel that sense when you were all in some ways almost doing similarly to what the original crew had done? I agree, they're, they're definitely an element. You, you, you all arrive in Budapest, um, you're all away from home, um, long days. Um, and so yes, there's a, a natural, um, you, need, you need each other, you need to sort of get along uh, and bond. And in that, in that respect, I guess there is, you know, there are parallels to these, you know, the group of men that went to the Arctic in 1845, um, you know, into the unknown, not knowing. You know, some of them knew what to expect, but lots didn't. And and like us, they they only would survive by sticking together. You know. And did you ever get sort of seasick during the shoot? Were you actually out? I mean, no, we shot in a landlocked country, oh, <laughs> Hungary. <laughs> I was we, we, we hungry, were, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, were, we were miles away from the sea. <laughs> oh. And thousands of miles away from the Arctic, so uh, yeah, yeah, the magic of television. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> impressive. I'm just wanting to, I mean, it must be such a joy when you make kind of uh, TV series, because you've obviously done a lot of films and TV series across your career, but you must get so much a more kind of, I don't know, freedom to really explore someone in a TV series. You've obviously got a lot of sort of 10 episodes. It mm. must be such a great thing for an actor to get his teeth stuck into, and you've got a, a character that you can really, I don't know, see them how they develop across a whole kind of sort of 10-part series, for example. Absolutely, I agree. I mean, one of the... Um, one of the great things about this recent sort of explosion in in television is that as actors you have yes you have ten hours to explore a character rather than two, um, and that yeah results and you can go you can tease it out much more slowly it can be um, yeah it's a much more interesting conversation can be, uh, and this is definitely an example of that you know, it's a very character driven show and. Um, many different characters are able to have time and space to sort of reveal who they are, what they need, what, what gets taken away, what their fears are. And obviously it's quite sort of dark, quite chilling stuff as well. Have you watched it back yet? And if so, have you, have you, you sort of able to get caught up in it like a, an audience member would? Is that always quite difficult when you're watching yourself on, on screen? It often is difficult. This actually wasn't that difficult to get swept up in it. I really, I mean, one, you know, so, you know I'm sure you always have to say uh, you love what you're in, but this I really can say from, from my heart that it's one of the finest things I've been involved in and I have watched all 10 episodes now and I think it's a really remarkable piece that they've made, that David and Sue have put together. I mean, is that possible? Yeah, as an actor, so obviously when you're in, say, Game of Thrones, when you, because obviously, for example, a show like that is kind of, everyone's got their own kind of different storylines. Mm. So, I mean, I guess there'd be some actors that might never meet other actors, even though they're sort of key sort of roles in it. Yeah. Are you able to watch that series, for example, and really get immersed in it like I would, for example, because of that kind of aspect to it? Yes, I mean, Thrones is a, a sort of an anomaly in that you, you are, you're very kind of in your little corner of it and there's whole rate, whole aspects of the show and, and characters that you haven't encountered at all. So, Yes, it's easier to disappear into a show like that than a show that you've obviously been 
more involved in and, and, and sort of met more of the, you know, have more of a sense of the different people involved. Yeah. Mm. And you've got, is it Carmilla coming up as a feature that you've got coming up? Yes, what can you tell I us did. I did a, um, um, a sort of independent um, a horror, or no, sort of like um, gothic horror, I suppose. Um, uh, a, a, yeah, really interesting project. And I, um, I haven't seen it yet, but um, we shot it last summer. And I think it could be really uh, exciting sort of addition to the to, to the film thing. Yeah. And just finally, when it comes to, to sort of expeditions like they all, this crew goes on in terror, do you reckon you could ever be enticed into something like that? I know some people get a real thrill from the idea of, of travelling around the whole world or, or kind of stuff like that on a, on a boat, but are you one of those people that would, would brave that, brave the ocean in that way? I really want to say I would, but I don't think I would. No, I think I would have done very poorly up there. Um, yeah, it's... Um, I mean, I suppose what's interesting about those these adventure stories um, in these thrillers is wondering how you, oneself would fare in those circumstances um, and the kind of physical depredations that they were having to deal with. I feel like they just make me, my eyes water. Yeah, yeah I'd be terrified. <laughs> yeah. It's cold as well. Terror. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!